Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Dexter. And I'm Lala. And we're the Jakes Juniors. It's about to be an amazing day. It's always an amazing day when you get to eat some good fried chicken. Chicken. Now, today we're doing a special recipe. It's honey butter fried chicken, okay? Now, there's a million ways for us to fry chicken. This is just the way for us to do it today. Trust me, we're gonna show you different recipes coming up soon. Yep. As you can see, I am ready with my utensil, and this time you will know what it's for. That's okay. Right. That's you will right. know. Stay tuned. Yeah. So we're gonna get right to it. Not too much talking. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with. Oh, by the way, I got my sous chef here. You know, because for professionals, as you can see, our yeah. outfit today. But we're gonna start with salt. Salt. Black pepper, garlic, onion. All this is powder, okay? As you can see, <laughs> this is not my favorite, but it tastes amazing. And this is called cumin. And cumin, it's like, you know, when somebody just haven't taken a shower for about three to five days, and it's just like everyone could smell it. Cumin. <laughs> Cumin is your go-to. That's what you want. But I, we like it, so we'll, what can we do, right? Smoked paprika, because it's the law. Smoked paprika. That's right. Oregano, yep. my favorite. I put oregano in everything. And would you like to say this, babe? Yes, cayenne pepper. <laughs> Not Kanye. Not Kanye pepper. <laughs> So we're gonna whisk everything. As you can see, it's already on a scale because we're going to divide this, okay? And we're gonna put half here in this flour so Dexter can do his magic. All right, so this feels well combined. Does it? I don't know. Keep I th on going. I think so. So remember, half, okay? What is my half, my love? We're doing math because we're professionals, okay? Of course, you gotta have the exact amount. Absolutely. Don't be that person. I'm that person. That's why I'm here. And we're there. Now we're gonna set this aside. And we're gonna set this also aside and whisk everybody. We're good now. Now he's gonna get the chicken. Yeah, let me get the chicken While out the I fridge. I become his sous chef. So we have chicken thighs and we have chicken legs or drumsticks. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start off with this um, already in the container. We're just gonna go ahead and take the other half of that seasoning blend and put it on here. That's right, get it nice and coated. Then I'm going in here with my hand Making sure everyone has some love, some <laughs> seasoning that is. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between those two words. <laughs> <laughs> Just mixing everything till it's thoroughly combined. Make sure everyone gets invited to the party, doesn't feel left out, be a good host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smells good already. Yep with a touch of cumin. 
<laughs> it's okay, it's gonna taste good. Adds a little bit of earthiness. Go ahead and get buttermilk. Yes. All right, this is looking all thoroughly combined. Everyone's at the party having fun. Now- And the buttermilk is here. The buttermilk just arrived to the party. Would you do me the honors by pouring this? Of course. Thank you. This buttermilk is gonna make this super juicy. Um, and I think it helps with the crunch as well but for sure it's a tenderizer. Yeah, go ahead. Get all that buttermilk. Now, savings. That's right. This is where the savings comes in. <laughs> Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Just gonna mix this around a little bit. Oh, almost forgot one thing, that we are gonna need some hot sauce. Yeah, so. Just gonna mix this around till it's thoroughly combined. We want this to marinate in here all good. It'd have been easier to do this in a bowl, but we're running out of bowls because we got a lot of stuff to prep. But it's okay. Just a little bit more work than usual. It's gonna be fine. Getting everything nice and thoroughly coated. All this flavor is just gonna be marinating in the fridge. Now you can do this about two hours in advance or you can do it up to a day before. I prefer a day before. But either will work, it's gonna be delicious either way. I'm a professional. Kind yes, of as always. Oh, just a little bit, go ahead, I'll tell you when. Keep going, that's enough. Thank you. As always, exact amount of ingredients are down below. All of them. And they're correct, okay? But always speak to your ancestors. Yes, please Don't forget do. to call in. Call in, check on them, see how they feel about it. I'm gonna, gonna set this aside. Yep. Then we'll come back to it. Scraping it down from the sides because I feel like there's just extra flavor there. I don't want it to be <laughs> left out. Okay. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Let's grab it. Okay. I'm going to stop agitating. The, stop agitating. <laughs> I was going to let them know about how crunchy and juicy this oh, yeah. chicken is Tell going them. to be. Testify, babe. Yes, but um, you're right. Stop agitating. They don't okay. need all of that. Well, I was going to keep on agitating while you talk. Oh, well. Go ahead. Juicy, crunchy, sweet, a little bit of spice. Yep. Delicious. One of my favorite ways to do fried chicken. Almost every time I fry chicken, I use buttermilk. Because mm -hmm. like I said, it helps to make it juicy. And she just told you it makes it crunchy. Um, but yeah, I don't do the egg wash. I know some people don't use any type of adherent whatsoever. I'm not that type of person. No judgment. A little bit of judgment. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it, um, go ahead. You need some help. I'll put this in the, as I walk my way there. And even though I'm using gloves, I'm gonna take a second to wash my hands. That will marinate for two hours to overnight. Yeah. It's up to you. If you want to make it in advance, you can do it. If you don't, you a little bit of rush, two hours tops, you're good to go. All right, so we're back. I already have our frying station set up, but before we start frying, 
we have to make the honey butter that is going to glaze the fried chicken. She's got it from here. I got my spatula. Okay, so we're gonna start with butter. Did I say it right? Butter. Butter. I'm British. We're actually checking her ancestry. We keep on saying we're talking to our ancestors. We, we might need to check that first. Yeah, I'm not so sure of her ancestors. Who's talking to us? For clarity, I'm mostly Thank Nigerian, okay? Yes. Most of my folks are all up and down West Africa. Well, from that space, but you know, a little thing happened that took us away. And I'm Brazilian. Yep. And a little well, thing happened to y'all too. And we became a very <laughs> mixed country. Yep. We're from everywhere. So that was his, um, what was it, Christmas gift? Yeah. That was his Christmas gift to me. Okay, so this is, you know, looking good, melted enough. So we're gonna go ahead, pour in honey. I'll scrape it all off. We're gonna combine the two, very nice, so we can funnel and put in our little bottle. We're doing this step ahead because we got a little bit of time before we start breading. Remember, it was marinating for two hours. And you could do it for longer. That's your business. Go ahead. Do what you feel. Well, for clarity, I did have it on medium low, and I just turned it up a little bit so we can get this party started. As you can see, I'm very professional. I knew that. <laughs> some would say a whisk is better, but I'm not some. Hi, I'm some. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. Because you can scrape from the sides. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Like this. Special right. note, and I'll be sure to include this in the um, description down below, but I use unsalted butter because I like to be able to control my um, salt levels. Yes, I use salted butter, just kidding. We don't have that. No. Even if I wanted to, we don't have it. We have plenty of salt. Not salted though, no. not salted butter. All right, so it's looking good, well combined. This is where we're gonna turn it off so we can pour into you love. Can't really see all of this, but you'll be all right. You get the point. We're gonna go ahead. Let's put it down. Mm -hmm. We won't put this in the fridge because we want it to be a little runny. Yep. So just leave it out. Some extra it. honey butter. No one's mad about it. Yes. So we close that off. Wash your hands. Thank you, my love. Good smell. Sweet love. Let's get to breading. Yep. All right, so we're back and it is time to bread. Um, we have our chicken, 
already soaked in buttermilk. It's been in there overnight, okay? I actually did some yesterday so that we can hurry this process up. That's right. Um, and we have our flour. It's already seasoned like we did before. Um, and let's get to it. So ready. I'm gonna go ahead and have one hand designated for my wet and then the other for the dry. Just going in. Go ahead, babe. You go first. Like these. Okay. Like this. Make sure you shake off the excess buttermilk. Then okay. toss in a little bit. And get everything nice and thoroughly coated. Pat that baby. Pat it to make sure it adheres. Then shake off the excess. Keep on going till you don't have any parts that are not floured, dredged in flour rather. So like during Christmas, holidays, and stuff like that, when we gotta do fried chicken. Which is every holiday. We get um, <laughs> some of the kids, you know, yes. to help us out, and he threatens them. Yes. I'm pretty sure they'll tell their testimony someday. Yes, I am an uncle. OG uncle. So, right on the rack. Wet hand, back in there. Surprise, different piece. Die. That's right, babe, you let him know. Yeah. So like a few of y'all have asked where we get our recipes, like are they all from us? Of course, there's nothing new under the sun. So this is a recipe that's been inspired by a lot of places, but because we've cooked it so many different times, we've just tweaked it and- um, Made our own. Yeah. That's how we do with all of our recipes. Give you some flour. I was gonna say, you're still in the flour. I know. Thief. Um, am I? Yes. Or am I just doing it faster? Whatever. copyright infringement when we're cooking we usually have music on we're singing oh my goodness. and dancing like put his music on. yeah it's it's a totally different vibe when we're cooking at home so this is a little bit new for us so so fun. we just you know dance and sing in our heads yeah so you're gonna see a lot of that yeah it's funny we were watching one of the edits <laughs> and we were just I could tell what song she was dancing to just based on the way she was moving. Okay, that's real love, all right? Especially after I eat. <laughs> it's this specific song yeah. that just runs through my mind. It's actually um, the song we danced to at first. It's our wedding. Yeah. Ah, what a glorious day it was. Yes. Ok, para os brasileiros que estão assistindo, a gente está fazendo é, frango frito, só que com uma crosta bem crocante, com muitos temperos, muitos assim, né? Mais ou menos. E a gente vai fritar e depois por cima a gente vai colocar manteiga derretida, o que a gente fez um pouquinho antes, com mel, tá bom? And soon enough, Dex will be giving these instructions in Portuguese. O Dex também vai estar falando português essas instruções, tá? Então, aguardem. Um, make sure you tell them how they can see the translations. True. So, vocês podem ver a tradução. Tem no cantinho aqui do YouTube. Você pode ir lá, clicar e 
vê a tradução, você só coloca na língua portuguesa. E fica tranquilo que dá para ver tudo certinho, o que a gente estiver falando em inglês vai ser traduzido em português. Tá bom? I'm trying to make my bed, okay? Because yeah, what I do is I make a little bed, and then I submerge the. Oh, how my bed! Don't steal from me, my flower. Now at this point, you notice I'm going in here both hands because this is the last piece. But also having a little bit of that buttermilk is going to help with some crunch, some extra yes. flavor. No one's going to be mad at you if they are. Okay. Yeah. Check on them. They're not your real Check friends. Check on your strong friends. For real. But one note, we're putting this on a um, wire rack, um, which is in a baking sheet just to make sure everything adheres. Put that on there for a few minutes. And um, from there. Let's get to it. Gotta make some room for these thighs, girls. Just wait till the Press end. Press it down. You're gonna hear a lot of good crunch. <laughs> All of that. That buttermilk is gonna add a incredible crunch. I don't go without the buttermilk when I'm frying catfish, frying any type of chicken, because I have legit like four or five different chicken recipes, fried he chicken does. recipes specifically. No. I'll take that. Thank you, my love. You're welcome, babe. And then. We'll be right back for the frying. It's going down. It's my favorite part. The best part. The sizzle. It's great. See you soon. All right. Wow, this took a very short time for this oil to come up to temperature. Okay, so let me make sure we're still good. Yep. You want the oil around 350, because yeah. that's the best temperature to fry them. Um, yeah. I only know this because ha, he taught me. Yeah, between 325 and 350 is the perfect temperature. I'm just putting this in here. I'm gonna fry about three pieces at a time. And then, putting on this splatter screen. Over that baby. Make sure we don't get any splatter on us. This is gonna go for about 10, min 10 minutes, and then um, I'm looking for a temperature of about 165 at minimum. Otherwise, um, you're probably gonna kill the people that you're cooking for. So 165 minimum, I would say 185 max for dark pieces. Now, it's if, if it's white, Totally different ball game, but you have a little bit of wiggle room here. Good tips. Keep in mind. Okay, so about to check this chicken. It's been frying for a second. It's looking nice and dark golden. Beautiful. Just gonna check this piece real quick to see how we're looking. We're good. So, what was the temperature? Hold on. So we know. I saw that thing go by 165, about 170. Okay. Good temperature. And let me check this big piece. Where is the best part to insert the thermometer? So you usually want to insert it into the thickest part of your meat, and it's 170. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Now we know. Now we know. We're gonna keep on going with the rest of the pieces of chicken. Let me make sure that my temperature is where I want it to be. Yeah, we're 
good. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with thighs. Okay. But I'm going to put gloves on. So you can grab them? Yep. I like doing it with my hands. Here you go. Thank you, my love. I'm just gonna go with one. Okay, so those were the legs. Let's start focusing on these thighs. <laughs> so crispy. Oh my goodness. These are big thighs, so I'm just gonna drop two pieces in here. Notice, just like your grandmother, I dropped it in there by hand and did not burn myself, okay? I'm a professional. Never forget that. But... He's a professional. Never forget that. Don't you do it. Got a splatter screen, unlike your grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just take that on the skin? Yep. And we're gonna let this fry for maybe about 10 to 12 minutes to, we want all of our pieces going around the same temperature between 165 and 175, all the way up to 185, but then you're getting a little too close, flying too, a little too close to the sun. So be careful. All right, gonna take out this bird. It's looking golden brown. Is that what a bird sounds? You can already Maybe. tell that's about to be crunchy. You see that skin lifted? Lift. Never mind. I can't say. Ah. It. it almost got me. Almost. But not today. Not today. That's right, UMG. You're not getting me. So, got the plate. We're going to go ahead and remove this baby out the way. We're going to fry it later. Don't worry about it. Yep. This is going at 175. I'm gonna turn that off. Here we are with this beauty. Honey, my love. You wanna put it on here first? Yes. Would you like to serve me? Yes. One of each. You see those hands? Strong. Bent through something. It's good. It's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Plating today is very simple. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Because I all of this is gonna change your life. You ready, my love, for this? Let's go. Are you ready for this? Testing, one, two, one, two. Check my mic. Check, check, check. It's good, That's right. it's good. Woo! That's good. That's right, don't be shy. Don't be shy, yes. Make sure, because it's a lot of chicken. You know, cover as much as you can. Let's make a heart here, because Huh, that heart needs some work, but that's all right. That's all right. Looks, you know? Looks more like an actual heart. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> just drizzle, just finishing touches. Some color. You know, make it fancy. Nothing like a crunch to warm your heart. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. Thank you for the crunch. Mm. I'm excited. I'm not about to talk a lot. Okay, we've talked plenty. Let's get right to it. Let's go. Well, you oh. know what? Okay. I feel like for the camera, I'm gonna use a fork and knife. Someone was commenting about, <laughs> Dex just picked that chicken up in the last chicken video we did. If we weren't on camera, we would do that. But we're trying to be professionals, okay? I don't think I'm gonna do that. Cause I got a knife. A kanifi. A kanifi. But hold on. on. Y'all listen to this. 
You hear that? Y'all listen to this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. It's like chips. My like little chips. Mm. You hear this? One more time. Mm. Mm. I can't even talk right now. Let me try this one. You never know. Could change. And it's juicy. Mm. Do you see that drip? Drip, drip. Mm. Like, subscribe, watch it, do it yourself. Make it. Be creative. Come on. You will love it. You will thank us. Mm. See you next time. This is done. I'm about to go eat. God bless you.